There we moved to Tabak County because I had a daughter and we didn't want to raise her in the South Bronx necessarily. So we came here um, and I met um, some of our board members and our founders, Marshall and Loretta Bloom, and they said they're from Chicago as well. And Marshall actually taught, he's emeritus professor at UPenn for 45 years, I believe. So they also have this passion for education and they knew that these opportunities are you know, they come so often to students from big cities. Um, they have these resources at their fingertips and small towns don't necessarily have that. So they wanted to bring these opportunities to the shore. Um, and we thought this would be a great idea for these students and a great resource for students here. We have four students as of now. Um, most of them are first to attend college and their families. So I did a little research on that because it is different. So students, the obstacles that, we face as first-generation students. Um, so it's not just about hard work and grit, it's really about being flexible and optimistic and knowing what lies ahead of you. Um, so I did some research and we developed our curriculum around that. So we're talking about, we have pillars talking about perseverance and resilience and um, destigmatizing failure, knowing it's okay and how you bounce back from that. So we're gonna embed that um, into our curriculum, our English and math curriculum. So we're gonna work on case studies and really just life applications so how to build a budget, how to plan for your um, life outside of college. How are you going to transport yourself from college to home? Um, are you, can you afford a car? How are you going to pay your loans back? So those real life applications that are regardless of your first generation or not, a lot of students don't get that. Um, and I think it's important to go into school knowing um, that that's, you know, you have those skills under your belt. And to be confident once you step on campus, knowing that maybe at home there isn't really anyone that you can talk to or look to for guidance because mom and dad haven't had that experience. So we want to be um, a place where the students feel support and can come back to and know that there's, there's this network of individuals that are cheering you on and are motivating you. So we have reached out to the school, both Scenes Peter and Paul and, um, Easton High School, and they um, we want to start a referral process in order for them to be able to recommend students that they think are very motivated. So initially, we wanted to reach out and find students that were highly um, academically strong. And through the research, like I said, it's what's most important is their drive and their determination rather than their grades. So we really want to see that commitment for them to come on Saturdays, four hours to commit to this program. Um, it's a multi-year commitment and we want to see that um, hold true over their grades. And the grades will come, the academics will come along with our program, our curriculum, but we really want, to, what we wanted to see, we were looking for the commitment piece and the motivation when we interviewed students. So we measure success by all of our students um, enrolling and matriculating into a four-year university. Um, but it's really a full circle um, type of program. So there's a call to action where our vision is where our students come back into the community, invest in Talbot County, and become mentors and mature scholars. So we want to see them have that time away to find themselves, be independent, be decision makers, but then to come back and instill those values into our community. So we want to offer scholarships to pay for any of their application fees. We're going on college tours. We want that all to be um, free for them, no, no charge to the student. So that's an obstacle. Um, it's also preparing these students beforehand. So we initially we had thought we were gonna start junior and senior year. We scaled it back to freshman year because again, if we focus on students who are first in their families to go, there's a lot of more preparation. Um, so we wanna prepare them mentally, emotionally, um, to know what they're going into. This is a, they're leaving home, they're gonna be far away, some of them. Um, mi they might be in a class of 400 students, they need to be um, advocates for themselves. So really that preparation piece and making sure that we are sending off confident scholars um, to know that they can do it and it's not gonna be easy and they need to be resilient, but to complete that degree. So we're looking for motivational speakers. Like I said, every month we hit in on a different theme. So this month is gonna be perseverance and we move on to failures and setbacks, resilience, um, growth mindset. So we would love to have local um, speakers that can come and just motivate our students and really hit from a various um, background. So if we have students that wanna be veterinarians, we have students that are interested in music, when um, students interested in finance so just to have because right now they they 
think they have an idea of what they want to go into, but that might change, it might not, but we want to offer them that exposure um, to different, different um, backgrounds and to different experiences and to different places. Um, a lot of them haven't left the Eastern Shore, so just going across a bridge, is a, it's a big um, ideal for them. So we want to give them those experiences through mentors and through motivational speakers. So do you see any link with Talbot Mentors at all? So our, we would love down the road to be a feeder program um, and just to really um, educate the whole child. They start at six years old and we continue into high school, so it's a wonderful marriage between the two. Um, I think we want to really, they've been around for such a long time, we want to establish our program and make sure that um, we are fulfilling our mission. And, but I think, yes, I agree, it's a, it's a wonderful um, marriage between the two and just like a feeder. Yes. So we have one student that we got directly, two students, sorry, that we got from Talbot Mentors. And so their mentors are involved with the program as well. So they'll be able to follow them through, which I think is wonderful. wonderful.